Hello, my name is Tony Beers, and this is Movie Grades. Hey everybody, Tony Beers here again. In this episode of Movie Grades, I'm going to be talking about The Expendables 2. The plot is that Willis tells Sloan that he still owes him, so he sends Sloan and his team on another mission. They have to find the cargo of a crashed plane, and the catch is they have to take this woman, Maggie, with them, and in the meantime, Van Damme and his gang are after the same cargo. One bad thing that I didn't like about this movie is Mickey Rourke's not in it this time, and they never explain what happened to his character. And speaking of missing people, Jet Li is in this movie for about five minutes, maybe less. Although, for the short time that Jet Li is in it, he does have a pretty cool fighting scene. For the most part, the CGI and special effects are pretty decent. However, there is a ton of CGI blood, which looks bad. It looks so fake. And that was one of my biggest problems about the last movie, and it's back again. The acting in this movie ranges from okay to bad. And the worst actor in this movie, again, is Randy Couture. But some of the blame has to go to the writers and the director because they don't give his character anything to do or say. He is just talking about his color flower ear again. The story is cliche and predictable. If you've seen any action movie, you know what to expect. For example, Liam Hensworth, you know, Thor's brother, plays the young, new guy who has a girlfriend and everything to live for. So, guess what happens to him? He might as well be wearing a target on his back. <laughs> I heard someone else say that if he was on Star Trek, he'd be wearing a red shirt. Now, on to what's good about the movie. The action is what this movie is all about, and I have to say, it is amazing. It's some of the best action I've seen all summer. It's right up there with the action of the Avengers. There's plenty of explosions, gun battles, bloody deaths, chase scenes, and plenty of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Speaking of the Avengers, this movie is like the Avengers, but instead of superheroes, we've got action stars. This movie promises great action with classic action stars, and it delivers. Just to see Stallone, Willis, and Schwarzenegger kicking ass on screen at the same time is worth the price of admission right there. One of my problems with the last movie is that it focused too much on Stallone and Statham, and this time it does a much better job of giving everybody equal screen time. Especially with Stallone and Willis who actually get to do something this time. Which is actually harder to do this time since they actually have more characters. Now this time even the woman, Yunnan, who plays Maggie, gets to join in the fun action. And that was one of my problems with the last movie is the women in it didn't really do much of anything. Now, all the characters don't have the equal amount of screen time as all the characters in, say, a movie like The Avengers but they are getting more screen time and that's a step in the right direction. And speaking of more characters, Van Damme does a good job at playing the villain and Chuck Norris is Chuck Norris. There's a really funny joke in the movie where Stallone goes up to Chuck Norris and he says, I thought you were dead. I heard you got bit by King Cobra. And Chuck Norris says, I did. And then five agonizing days later, the King Cobra died. And I thought that was so funny. Now, I don't know whether they got that joke off the internet or what, but I thought it was hilarious. 
Now, there's going to be some people out there with their noses in the air saying, oh, this is just a silly action movie. And I have to say, they're right. And that's part of what I like about it. This is a B action movie with A-list action stars of the 80s. If this movie had any other stars other than these, then it would be straight to DVD and then straight to the Walmart $5 bin. It's cliche, it's predictable, it has bad dialogue, it has cheesy one-liners. It's basically the male equivalent of the Twilight series. We know it's bad, but we love it anyway. Sometimes you just want a movie that just kicks a lot of ass. And if that's what you want, then go see this movie. Speaking of the one-liners, they know the one-liners are bad, and they have fun with it. Schwarzenegger says, I'll be back, like 50 times in this movie. There's even a scene in this movie where Bruce Willis says, You're always back, this time I'm back. And then Schwarzenegger says, yippee ki -yay. And I love this scene. Now, of course I'm going to want to see a sequel to this movie, and when I did my review of the first Expendables movie, I gave a list of actors I wanted to see in this one, and two of the ones that I said, Chuck Norris and Van Damme, they actually put in this movie. So I got two that I wanted, but for this sequel, of course I'm going to want to see more. Now I'd like to say that I saw IGN's list for who they wanted to see in the third Expendables movie. So it influenced me a little bit when making up my list. And my list was real long, so I'm going to narrow it down to about five. Number one on my list would be Steven Seagal. Because he was one of the really big action stars of the 80s and 90s that they never had in these Expendables movies. And he is so bad that he's good. Number two on my list would be Jackie Chan, because when I think of classic martial arts action, I think of Jackie Chan. And number three on my list would be Carl Weathers, because he's a great action star who worked well with Stallone in the Rocky movies, as well as Schwarzenegger in Predator. Number four on my list would be Harrison Ford, because of two words, Indy and Han. What more do you need to know? Lastly, number five, Sigourney Weaver, because one, we need a lot more chicks in this movie, and number two, she's an action star in her own right. Overall, if you saw the first movie, you know what to expect. Hell, if you even saw the trailer for this movie, you know what to expect. If you didn't like the first movie, you're not going to like this one. If you're expecting to see an Oscar award winning movie, you're looking in the wrong place. This movie is all about classic action and classic action stars, and that's what we get. Now, is this better than the first one? And I'd have to say yes. And I say that mainly because we get more action stars, and they actually get to do something this time instead of just standing around talking. And since I like this one better than the first one, I'm going to have to give this one a better grade than I gave the first one. And so, for my final grade for Expendables 2, I'm going to have to give it... A B plus. I'm Tony Beers, and I'll see you next time.